In this video, I am going to show you how to take your Google assignment and add it to various areas of your Brightspace course shell. So what you need to do first is make sure that you've come into your content and you've created a Google assignment. If you need to know how to do this, make sure you go back and watch my overview video on how to create a Google assignment in Brightspace, which I will link in the card at the top for you. So you can pretty much add your Google assignment link anywhere in your Brightspace course shell where you can add a quick link. So I actually want to show you a couple of really specific examples that I think could be very helpful for you. The first one I want to show you is adding it to your activity feed. So if you come in here and create a new post for your activity feed, you can type in your message. And then if you come down to the attach, you want to come to this attach link to existing activity. This is your quick link feature. You're going to click on that. And then what you want to do is come in here and navigate to your Google assignment. So if you created it in your content, you're going to click on content. You're going to go to the unit that it's in. So it's in unit one for me. And then you're going to click on the assignment itself. And what that does is it creates a nice link here for you to your Google assignment. So you can choose to post it now or post it later. I'm just going to post it now. And then this is what you see. So when your students come in here and enter into your Brightspace course shell and see your activity feed, they could just click on the assignment here. And really all it's doing is taking them and linking them to that assignment in the content space itself. Now, what's really cool here is you get this airplane icon if you have posted your Google assignment on your activity feed. So it's a good way to keep tabs and keep track of whether you've posted them or not for your students. The other place you might consider adding your link to your Google assignment is in your Dropbox. Now, you could choose to use Google Assignments by itself or the Dropbox by itself, but you can combine the two together to do new things. So let's go in and create a new folder in our Dropbox. And I'm just going to call this Assignment 1 as well. Uh, you can add a grade here if you want and a due date. And then maybe I want to add in here, please complete the Google assignment attached and submit your work here. You might choose to do this because you might want to have a Dropbox for a definitive due date. So that could be one possibility. Or you could also want to take the power of Google and combine it with the power of the Brightspace Dropbox. So you could do things like record audio now or record video instructions. And then you could also add in, say, for example, a rubric from the Brightspace LMS. So really, it kind of depends on what you want to do here. To add your link, though, to your Google assignment, you're just going to come to the same button that was in the activity feed. You're going to click on that. You're going to navigate back through your content again. I'm going to go into unit one and then grab my assignment here. So it's going to add that attachment for my students. I'm just going to make sure that that is visible and then I'm going to save and close. So what that's done then is it's created my assignment, but it's also attached the link to that Google assignment for my students. So if I come into the student view, I just want to show you this really quickly, what that looks like, for, like from the student's perspective. So if you come into the Dropbox as a student, then what you see is the assignment and you also see the attachments. So if I come into my assignment here as a student, I see my instructions that I need to com complete the Google assignment attached, and I can see my attachment here. If I click on that as a student, it takes me into the Google assignments, and then I can come grab my template, do my work, and then head back to the Dropbox to do my final submission. So it is a possibility if you want to combine both of them together.
So those are just two examples of places where you can add quick links to your Google assignments, but pretty much anywhere you have that ability to add a link, you can add a link back to your Google assignment. So the possibilities in Brightspace really are pretty endless. Hopefully that helps then. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and let me know and I'll be happy to answer them.